Hey everyone, I wanted to do a impromptu video on the Microsoft Certification Renewal Experience. Um, I actually woke up this morning to three emails saying, hey, you are now eligible to renew your certifications. Um, check out the videos up there and in the links below if you're not sure what this is, but essentially Microsoft have moved from certifications lasting two years and then every two years you have to go through that big study and then this proctored exam experience. Instead now, the certifications last one year and you can just renew them online by taking a free assessment and optionally there are free learning modules to help you prepare for that assessment. But no one was really 100% sure of what that renewal experience would be like, so I went through it this morning. So essentially, and as always, if this is useful, please uh, like, subscribe, comment, and share. So this morning, uh, I woke up and I had three emails. Hey, renew your certification for free. And just to give you a better view of that, essentially, I had these notifications for my kind of Azure Administrator Associates, and it's telling me, hey, it's expiring on July 15th. Um, you now can renew it any time in the next 180 days. You're getting a lot of notice, and I got one of them for each of my kind of various certifications. And you'll see it has a link in there to actually get started with renewing your certification. And that's actually gonna go and take you to the site, the Learn site that actually has the learning modules and the link to actually take the assessment. So this is the site, and I'll actually jump over and just show this directly. So here this is that site. Now what you can see here is it's showing you, hey look, when it actually expires. So obviously you can see on mine, it's expiring in 499 days. That's because I took it this morning. And it shows, hey, uh, I'm done. I could retake it in 23 hours and 21 minutes, even though I've obviously already passed it. Um, and then what you can actually see is all of the modules that would help you prepare for it. So the exact amount of time is gonna vary. This is their estimated amount of time it would take you to go through these modules, um, but you don't have to. As I said, I just dived in and directly took the assessment just to see what it was like, what that experience was. So, that's what you're going to do. And there's multiple pages. There's pages. So here's the one I have for my Azure Solutions Architect Expert, telling me how it expires in 136 days. Um, here's my one for my Azure Data Engineer Associate. And again, for all of these, it's got, hey, I can take the assessment. And then there's kind of that training I can go through to help me prepare. No, you can go to these URLs. So I actually just added the word renew to the DevOps engineer expert. Now I'm green, I can't take that for another 14 days and two hours, but I could absolutely now go through and kind of take that renewal training so I was ready if I wanted to. So essentially, hey, it's an online assessment and there's optional training modules for you to help you be successful. Now a key thing here, um, make sure you sign in. So when you go to the Learn site at the top right corner, um, you sign in to learn. So that now will track your process as you take the modules. Then make sure you link it to your certification profile. So it's gonna still say that once you sign in, it's gonna say, hey, link to your certification profile, click that link, and it will say, hey, we found this, in my case, John, uh, do you wanna link it to that? Say yes. So now the renewal assessment you take will link to your certification assessment and renew your actual certification. So it's super important you sign in to learn and super important you link it to your certification profile. So do that first. So then once you've done that, realize those modules are optional. Like I say, you can just take the assessment. If you staying up to date with these things, if you know it well, you don't have to go through those modules. Now at the end, if you just take the assessment, if you're weak in any areas, it'll actually say, hey, we recommend you take these modules because you were weaker in them. And you can even save those suggested modules off as a little learning plan under learn so you can come back to it later. Um, this is free. So the learning modules are free, there's zero cost. The assessment itself, 
Now it says 45 minutes. There was no clock, so I don't think it's actually time limited. 45 minutes is what it thinks it will take you. Um, I did it in 10, so it was pretty quick. Um, the questions do change. So I failed it the first time deliberately because I wanted to see, well, do the questions change? And they did change the second time I took it. So there are, is obviously a, a selection of questions and they will rotate some of them as you retake it. This is free as well. So that, there is zero cost to this renewal experience. I can take the modules for free. I can take the, the assessment for free. And it is just an assessment. Don't get stressed over this thing. There's no proctor. No one is watching you. There's no webcam. Um, there's no people listening. It's not locking down your machine. It's just a tab in your browser. Um, you could be checking email while you're doing the assessment. You could be watching a video. You could be on a, a conference call. Um, it is a, an honor-based system. You're going through the assessment, that's it. But there's no proctoring, there's no locking down. You can do anything you want while you're taking this assessment. Um, so it is just that, it's just an online assessment. And it's just multiple choice question. There's no case studies, there's no labs. It's literally question, pick the right answer. Some of them were, will pick the multiple steps maybe, the things you need to do. But it's all multiple choice, no complex case studies or labs or anything like that. Um, I had 28 questions in mine and 71% was the passing score, which is basically the old exams we had to get 700 out of 1,000. It, it's basically the same thing. So at the end, it shows you an overall score and it shows you your score for each of the sections. I'm not gonna show you a screenshot of that because obviously I don't wanna share information about what's in the assessment. Just go and take that yourself. But it will show you the breakdown of how you did in each of the different sections. And again, it will suggest modules at the end for where you did weaker so you can bring knowledge up where maybe you just weren't as strong. So if you fail it the first time, you can retake it straight away. So again, I failed it deliberately the first time to see if the questions changed, and then I just hit take again, and I could take it again. If you fail it the second time, you can then retake it once every 24 hours, for as many times as you need to, to pass. There's no limit on that, and it's still free. So I can just keep retaking it. But again, it's really zero stress. If you've ever done an MS Learn and there's like those little self-check assessments, that's all it is. It's just, there's more questions than usual, but it's just, it will kind of go through, ask 28 things, you check the right answer and you're done. So again, once every 24 hours and it's always free. There, there's no cost for this. And there's no, oh, Microsoft are doing this. When I posted before about this, it's like, oh, it's trying to get more money. They're gonna get less money. Instead of people having to take the exam every two years now, we just have to do it once where you pay and you do the big exams that are proctored. Then after that, it's just these free annual assessments that help you stay up to date. And then when you pass, it gives you this little congratulations, you passed and it's extended by one year. Now the key point here is it does extend it by a year from the expiry time. It doesn't set the expiry from a year of when you take it, i.e. today, it adds a year to the expiry time. So I can take it any time. It doesn't penalize me by taking it early. It's gonna extend that expiry by a year. So if I look now, I can see, well, it's now valid until July 15th, uh, 2022, instead of being March 3rd, 2022, which is today. So it is extending it. And so you can really go through and take it any time. Um, I mean, and that's, that's really it. So it's very low stress. It's just an online assessment. It's not proctored. Take it as many times as you want. The modules are free. I would go through them. Or maybe you just go and take it once, the assessment, just to get an idea of what's in it. And then you could go and look at the modules where you're weaker and then just take it again. But um, yeah, I mean, you're gonna get a lot of notice. It's a very, honestly, it was a very simple assessment. It's very easy to go through and uh, for me personally, I much prefer that than the huge stress of every two years doing a bulk of study and taking some massive proctored exam. So that was it. Um, you'll get those notifications for your assessments. Um, good luck and take care.